I wrote about Consuelo's childhood because I felt a strong connection with that part of her life. I also didn't have much money growing up and teachers looked down on me. Her story just brought back memories. When I met her, she said a single, a single event that changed her life and transformed her into who she is now. I felt compelled to talk how, about how any little thing that happens in a childhood can affect who you are when you grow up. The message and inspiration I got from listening to Consuelo is that you had to be proud of who you are and where you come from. I also learned to not let people stop you from what you are trying to accomplish. I have learned with Consuelo that there should be no racism or discrimi discrimination with others. We should all treat each other the same, with dignity and respect. Colors don't matter. We, we are all human beings. I have also learned to never give up and just go for it. It's just, for once, I want something new, like the other kids. I want a new pair of sneakers, like my friends. Red ones, or even a shirt that actually fits you me. You do not need any of that to be happy. All you need is your education, and you'll go far to far more places than I'll ever go. Yeah. The schoolyard. The students are lined up outside the classroom waiting to go in. What's wrong with you? What do you mean? Why would you come to school like that? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Have you seen what you're wearing? <laughs> yes, I'm wearing clothes. Aren't we all? Those aren't clothes, they're rags. <laughs> Where did you find those clothes? In the garbage? Ooh. My clothes are fine. No, they're fugly, just like you. <laughs> oh, fine. 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 Come on, get up. <laughs> Leave me alone. Why are you afraid? And she told me to take out my sweater and give it to her because she wanted it. And when she tried to take it, I pushed it to the ground. He's lying. Why would I want his sweater? I'm going to have to call your mom in for a parent conference. We may not be the richest or have many resources like others, but we survive. All ten of my children have what they need in their life. And we're happy. Now, with all due respect, what happens in my life is my life. Consuelo already told me what happened, and I believe my daughter. Mr. West, I suggest that we drop this whole situation and you move my daughter to a more reasonable class with a different teacher, or I will move my daughter out of this school. I'm going home now, and I'm going to take my daughter with me. And you can give me a call later on today and tell me what you decide. My daughter may only be a fourth grader, but she is extremely smart, and you are very fortunate to have her at your school. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I be mad at you? I'm mad at those people. You see, there are two types of people in this world. The ignorant and the not ignorant. What's ignorant? What mean? It means not to know any better. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Really? No way. You're lying. Why would you have a surprise for me? You see, hermanita, I'm going to leave to Vietnam and I'm not going to be here for a while. I heard you've been having trouble in school with some squeakless. Yeah, they keep making fun of me because of my clothes and my shoes. I know. I decided to get you this. Look. <gasps> what? A new pair of shoes? Oh, the red, my favorite color. Thank you, hermano. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, hermano. You're welcome, hermanita. I love you too. You're very special to me. You know, how Louis had to leave for Vietnam. See, si, Mama. Well, he went to war, Mika. People die in wars. And we are tired of losing our men, our sons, our uncles, our... So many from the barrio are coming back dead. Not Louis. No, no, not Louis. We know he'll be lucky. But too many others. So, that's why we are protesting. Because the whole thing is not fair. Esta marcha is for the people that went to war. I'm going to wear my shoes that he gave me to honor him and remember him. Your brother will be very proud of you. Later that day. It's hot. 
My feet are sweaty. I'm gonna take my shoes off and rest my feet. Thanks everyone for coming out today to protest. Estamos cansados de que nos estén discriminando. Tenemos que estar unidos para proteger a nuestra gente. We are tired of the abuse and discrimination. We must unite to protect our community. Ahora los dejo con esta música y danzantes. Life-changing moratorium. Boom! The gas is blasting. Bang! The blows are landing and the ocean of the masses forces me out of the sea. I'm dropping my faith. I'm losing my innocence. My brother, my shoes, my hope. Moratorium! Bra! Why? What's going on? Mama! I can't see! <coughs> There's so much smoke. What is burning? Wait, Rachel! Donde está Esther? Esther, donde está? Isn't she here? You lost Esther. Ay Dios mío, Virgen de Guadalupe, please help us find her. There she is. <coughs> Esther, I Esther. can't read my thoughts for any. <coughs> Ay, Virgencita, Virgencita, it's okay. We have to take Esther to the hospital. Uh, Vea, Esther will be all right. My shoes, my shoes. Louis. These shoes are a symbol of what I lost as well as what I gained during my childhood. They are the link between the sweet and sour events of my life. The canvas where I painted what was going to be the rest of my life. 